Steve Gibson, Director of Sales and Marketing for Amerifleet, formerly Director of Fleet at ServiceMaster, Steve measured the effects of extending the fleet's life cycle. Uh, one of the things we're talking about right now in that room, and that is extending uh, life cycle. Uh, that was a big thing I've been working on the last two years at ServiceMaster. Uh, we went from a leasing fleet to an owned fleet. Uh, and in doing so, you're spending a lot of capital. And so when you're spending 70 million a year in capital spend uh, at a company like ServiceMaster, it was by far the largest capital spend in the company, um, you get a lot of attention. Uh, and when you get that attention, you get a lot of questions. And a lot of questions are, are we doing the right things? Should we be re replacing 2,000 vehicles every year? What is our average life cycle of the vehicle? So we've spent that, we've always looked at that, but we've spent a lot more time over the last 24 months really digging deeper into that. And I see a lot of fleets doing the same thing. I spent a lot of time talking to a lot of similar fleets, although there's not a lot that are uh, too similar, but a lot of service fleets. Um, and a lot of them are doing the same thing. They're all looking for that, uh, that uh, answer as to how long should I keep this vehicle to get to the optimal replacement time where I'm not putting too much, sinking too much cost into this vehicle. Um, and it's a, it's a trick, it's a challenge, and it depends on the data you have in order to get that kind of information, which is one of the biggest challenges is the, not only the amount of data you can get, but what is the, um, uh, you know, how legitimate is that data? How good is that data? Um, how accurate is it? Uh, and then, um, you know, there's some other costs. Downtime, you got to estimate. You know, what's the impact on revenue? Um, what's the internal rate of return? That's what, you know, my treasurer wants to know, you know. Um, so, you know, we can show them that our cost per mile is X and, you know, we can change it and it can be Y, but they want to know, you know, businesses want to know now know more. What's the internal rate of return? What's my return on investment? Um, and I see more and more fleets starting to get focused more in that area um, and tying it to financials because, you know, we're in those times right now where um, we're taking a look at the big picture, not just what's the impact on my fleet, but what's the impact on the business as a whole.